but yet here we are. I, I don't know what they thought, but one of the important things that's interesting here is going to be that I guess it kind of sh exposes the fact that there are people within that party that want the, in the anti-crypto army that devalue public opinion, that devalue the ability of individuals who might not be accredited investors from actually having fact-based opinions and providing good data. Because as soon as the, the Twitterverse got into this, it took hours for all of this information to come out. Now, it's kind of funny because I'll bet in their personal life, pretty much all of them use Amazon reviews, use Google reviews or Yelp reviews to decide what to buy in terms of products, to decide what restaurants to go to. But none of the people writing those reviews are accredited investors. So why am I talking about it, accredited investors? I'm talking about it because the real problem in the cryptoverse, in the notion of there being clear laws, is that there is no way for crypto tokens to actually get registered if they are proposed by a decentralized organization, if there is no corporate structure, if they don't have financials. Those tokens are necessary for the operation of the network for several reasons. First of all, developers are compensated that way. Second of all, the networks are generally secured by miners or some other method. And third of all, gas fees on the network are generally paid in, in the native token because it's the easiest way to do it. But lastly, communities of users are incentivized to use it and give feedback and vote on the network. And that creates a good reinforcement loop. Now, why am I mentioning that today? I'm mentioning about it today because I think that people need to understand what it means. And what it means is something very important for a new technology that everybody is talking about called artificial intelligence. What is the biggest problem with AI? The biggest problem with AI? Well, it's data. It's that if you don't know the data is good or if it is potentially skewed, you could get completely wrong answers. It also means that, that you need to secure that network to know that the data is not getting corrupted. Well, what is blockchain technology extremely good at doing? It's really good at identity and verification. It's also the crypto market structure allows for incentivizing people to provide that data, to provide that verification. And so you have that system. My contention is that the market structure around crypto and the technology around crypto ultimately will be the way for AI networks to develop and flourish in an ethical and an honest fashion. Let that sink in and let it sink in that we have no legal framework for that in the United States. And in fact, we're pushing it offshore. Do we really want to fall behind both on the digital economy and in the AI revolution? I don't think so. But yet that is where, where this debate is going. And, and the Promethean thing just sent me right down these tracks because the public actually proved the point.